Hey guys, King of the North here, bringing you a guide. The pattern, hammer, and chisel boss fight. Upon completing this fight, you get the hammer and chisel weapon. It's actually not too bad of a boss fight once you get mechanics down for it. I'm going to show a decent strat that's pretty consistent for taking him down. Once you're comfortable with the main element of this strat, uh, you're f feel free to add whatever into it that you feel comfortable of getting hits in. What I'm about to show is, is pretty consistent with keeping HP. So as soon as he jumps, right before he lands, you want to do a parry. And while I did not get a, uh, you know, the visceral attack in or whatever it is because I didn't have enough um... There, here we go. Yeah, see? Now that I had a bar, I get a a, uh, a free hit in there for that would, you know, recover health if I need it. But, like I said, pretty pretty uh, consistent. You just gotta create some distance from him. And you know, you'll be able to bait him into this attack each time. And it's got a pretty decent window. And just remember to use your Harden. If he pops his... And then, you know, like I said, once you're comfortable, feel free to take some extra hits. When he goes in the Harden like that, if you can get him to bait, if you can bait him into doing it, you can kind of run around to his side and you'll be able to get an R1 or R2 in there depending on your timing. So here, once again. You can consistently bait him into the jump attack, I believe. If you uh, if you get a lot of space in here, he'll start running towards you. Actually, I'm against the wall right now. But yeah, you can you can bait him into that run uh, that run and jump. So that's mean like you could consistently. You know, oh, that was a little early for me that time um, to get that. But yeah, like I said, this pretty consistent. This is how you'll want to go about it. And once you get your uh, a bar filled here, you'll be able to heal yourself up. So this way, like, you're never... I mean, unless you're, like, whiffing a bunch or your, your timing's off, uh, you should be able to stay well ahead of this fight in terms of uh, health. But you'll want to hit L1 or your left bumper there just before he lands. Like I said, feel free to take extra swings too because it's not, it's not, it's not too bad of a fight. The the one reason why I don't recommend like staying up in his grill and fighting him like straight head on the entire time is like I'll get in here. He's got too many attacks. Like that, his left hand right there. You're not you're you're not going to be quick enough to parry that. So it's going to be a bit of a rough. You're going to have a hard time if you're trying to, you know, go toe to toe with him, just because his movement is much quicker at close quarter combat. So take your advantage of him having to take big swings from certain angles and getting your shots in then. So right there, I was in the middle of a, an R2 charge attack. He attacked, so I just popped my Harden real quick and then came out of it and landed a blow. I said, feel free to get behind him here. He comes out of his Harden and get a free shot in. 
back up here. And, well, got a good amount, not full health, but. Just keep distance. You shouldn't have too hard of a time with this fight. There you go. And then the uh, giant catfish comes in here and uh, I'll take you back. But I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope it helps. Just uh, do your best to create space. It may take a little bit of timing for you to get the parry in, but it's got a pretty decent window on it. It's pretty forgiving. So if this guide helped, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next guide for the next boss. Peace.